controversy seems to be brewing around the ownership of an aircraft grounded by the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority. While the River State government insists they own the aircraft, FAN claims the plane belongs to the Bank of Utah in Salt Lake City, United States, and was brought into the country on charter by Coverton Helicopters. Now, this is coming a day after the River State Commissioner for Information, Ibim Semenitari, says the River State government has been abiding by the regulations of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and does not have a history of disobeying it, adding that necessary waivers of the flight in question have been sent to the appropriate authorities. Responsible subnational. We cannot disobey laid down rules and procedures. That's just totally not possible because we are part of government. We wouldn't want to join issues with regulatory agencies. We would only say the facts as we have it. And the facts as we have it is that the government of the United has complied with all the directives as outlined by the Ministry of Aviation and all the other agencies. We cannot be irresponsible. I continue to make those points. And this will not be the first time that we are flying as a government of real estate. So there is no way we're going to fly without doing the right thing. Filing the manifest is procedural. And any sign of what is done knows that. We, we would not defy the regulatory authorities. We have no reason to do that. Because remember that we're very much part of government. So there is no reason for us to defy regulatory authorities or to walk in the breach. That is not our style, and we do not do that. Well, staying with that story, spokesman for the Federal Airport Authority, Mr. Yakubudati, is insisting that the aviation authorities have no business dealing with the River State government because they are in talks with the owners of the plane, the Bank of Utah, Salt Lake City. Speaking on our breakfast program, Sunrise Daily, Mr. Dati says it is wrong for a foreign registered aircraft to fly into the country and embark on domestic shuttles without notifying the aviation authorities. He said the authorities had no information that the River State government was operating the said flight. Mr. Dati said from investigations the aircraft had been flown to airports beyond Oweri and Akure and that they were, they were not captured in the documentation they submitted while coming into the country, even after the expiration of the permit. We have the papers and they are clear. We don't even have River State government in our, in our, in, in, in all our documentation. So, if, so what we are saying is an aircraft came in. as It's not registered in Nigeria. It's registered outside. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a visitor, probably a tourist, flying in and flying out. We saw an alien body moving around, Patakot, Akure, Owere, and it's not supposed to be so. And, and so sure? they respond. We didn't even know who was in the aircraft to start with. So that's when if people start saying, but uh, I, governor no. of this, I'm even amazed because it's not even registered in River State. It doesn't matter who is in the aircraft. Okay. We operate in procedures. We follow procedures. And these are issues that have to do with safety. But